Hello everyone, Unwalt here, back again with another tutorial, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And today I'll be sharing with you a new feature that has not existed in other editors before. This is where you can make a mover and you can make it so that it's climbable, so you can climb onto it while it's moving. That was not possible before, you could do that with brushes, but you couldn't do it with meshes or movers. And I think it's pretty useful if you played the games, it's an awesome mechanic. Uh, you can sit in the carpet retract them level with Ron who played this game before. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Let's add this awesome piece of magic. You're going to need one trigger and you're going to need one mover. And yeah, that's it. First things first, we need to get our mover. We open the HP3 gameplay static mesh package. And we need to go to the group called spells, objects, CR, Float platform, see our stats will carpet retract them. Uh, it's the first sort of challenge level of the game, the run. That way you parkour and up and down, jumping on these platforms. It's pretty awesome stuff. Alright. Let's move this up. Actually, we need to convert this into a mover first, so make sure you've got it selected. And if it is selected, click on this button here, add mover. Now you can chuck the mesh away bring the mover back into our level. That's awesome. Bring it up, make it tall enough so you can actually jump and grab onto it. You don't just walk onto it because that's just that's just lame guys. That's cheating. Now we've got our mover there, we need the traditional stuff. So we need to give it some key points. So select key one, move it across like so and then send it back to its original key zero where it started off. So that's what it's going to do, it's going to move left and then right again. Build a level so it's not such a dark mover. There we go, get some nice light shining on there. And a couple properties, this is what does the magic, this is what makes the magic happen if you go to properties, advanced. There's a new thing here called is, B is mountable. Mountable means you can mount or climb onto it. So set that to true. And what you can do now is we need a few more things on here actually. So we need to make sure that this mover is set off by a trigger. So set it to trigger pound initial state on the object. We need to give it a name We'll give it a special original name called Platform One because we're such geniuses. We can we can we can't think of any better names. Platform One and Mover. This is going to be trigger once only has to be false. We can leave this as player bump. Set this to ignore when in roach. Stay open time. If you don't want the mover to just like hang there for like four seconds, make this a lower. Move time, let's say it takes 5 seconds to move across, so we'll do that. Okay, looking fine and dandy. Next thing we need is a trigger near Harry, so we can actually set it off by walking onto it. So right click, uh, trigger here. I love these things, you can make anything happen in the game with these fucking triggers. Alright, now we actually need the name of our mover. So. Get the platform name, and we need to set that equal to the trigger's event. Uh, event is basically something that happens when you get on the trigger. And the trigger itself though has to be trigger once only. You don't want to walk, keep walking over this and sending the mover back and forth while it's trying to move. That, that's what happens. So make this, make sure this is set to trigger once only. I've got no idea what this is. The current scheme. Don't show me this message again. All right, whatever that was. Okay, uh, that looks like everything's done. So we can build this level now. Let's save it and give it a spin. Let's see what how this works. Hopefully, it won't explode, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, we're in the game. And yep. 
Oh, nice. That's awesome. I think I almost fell, guys. Like, <coughs> almost completely lost. <coughs> Don't go. Alright. Let's use this one more time. This is fun. <coughs> Whee! Uh-oh. Uh, okay, guys. Well, I really enjoyed making this tutorial. If you enjoyed watching this as much as I did, give us a like. If there's something else you want to learn about, I can make a video. Just drop it in the comments below. And we'll see what other awesome things we can do with this new editor. See you in the next video, guys.